Halloween, obviously it's Christmas, but for us today is Halloween. I'm so excited. I think the kids are all well enough to celebrate now. There's still little remnants of cold here and there. They'll cough or need more of a nap than usual. Wesley's about to tear you down to the ground, so enjoy that. <laughs> Maybe not, I guess he's not going to. Okay, so guys, I am still on the search for a good lip stain. The issue is that I want something that doesn't exist. I want a lip stain that actually stains my lips for the day, but I can't feel it on my lips. I don't want to feel, oh gosh, Wes is getting in my old Taco Bell. Stop eating Taco Bell, you're not old enough yet. I know I originally pooped on this Fenty Beauty lip stain that everyone likes. It works okay. I think my disappointment with it is that everyone said it was the best thing ever, and then when I tried it, I was like, it's not the best thing ever. It just like kind of works, but not really. Anyway, the kids caught the flu. Flynn was throwing up on Halloween, and then the babies, a couple days later, started feeling yucky. And now everyone's pretty much better, um, except Wesley. <laughs> Wesley, you're a nut. <laughs> yeah. You're a knucklehead. <laughs> Wesley, you're a goofhead. Go me, baby. Just at the occasional cough and sneeze and whatever. So we are gonna postpone their birthday. We're gonna celebrate their birthday. We're just not gonna have anyone over because just in case any of their boogies or sneezes or coughs could infect someone else, we're just trying to play it super safe. And I know I'm gonna get comments that think I'm crazy and think I'm the worst person ever for doing that um, because I did on Halloween. But don't worry, it just means that now they're gonna get two birthday parties. So we're gonna celebrate their birthday on their birthday, which is tomorrow. Well, for you it's tomorrow, but for us it's days. And then uh, maybe in a week, we're gonna do a big birthday party with everybody. Huh, Wes? Koi. So since obviously it's not actually Halloween, we had to get creative with trick-or-treating. <laughs> so um, my in-laws are in town, Corey's coming over, and we're just gonna have the adults be at different doors and have the kids, but mostly Flynn, because I don't think they'll understand the concept of trick-or-treating yet, but I still want them to dress up and enjoy trick-or-treating. So for trick-or-treating, we're gonna do Gabby's Dollhouse characters. We're also gonna take pictures, hopefully, if we have the energy in our Princess Bride costumes. Yeah, I'm excited. Today is the day. It is Halloween for the Ballinger Stockland household. So I'm just gonna finish putting on my makeup and keep trying to rescue this guy from getting into everything. He is always on the move. He is what you imagine a classic baby is like with crawling, where he just gets into everything, goes to all the places he shouldn't. Flynn wasn't like that at all. So I never really had to worry about it when people were like, make sure I have all the small things off the floor. We did that obviously with Flynn, but he never really tried to get into anything. He never picked up tiny things. And if he did, if he picked up something he shouldn't have in his mouth, he'd always check with us. Even at this age, he'd look at us like, can I put this in my mouth? Wesley, on the other hand, is crazy. He's an adventurer. He wants to get into everything. He wants to get into everything. Yes, you do, my monkey. I saw one person comment on Halloween how the twins were going to resent me someday because I let Flynn pick our Halloween costumes and that means that Flynn gets whatever he wants and I'm teaching Flynn that he's spoiled because he gets to pick our Halloween costumes. They can't talk. The babies can't talk. So they can't tell me what Halloween costumes they want. So that means the adults and the people who can talk get to pick. So Eric and I picked Princess Bride and Flynn picked Gabby's Dollhouse. And when they get old enough where they can pick things, they will get to pick what we do. Because if they say they want to do a family costume for everyone, he wants us all to dress like Mickey Mouse characters. She wants us all to dress like zoo animals and Flynn wants us to all dress like Paw Patrol. We will do all three. I will always make sure all of my kids wear what they want for Halloween. And if that makes them spoiled, then my kids are spoiled. I didn't get to celebrate Halloween at all as a kid and I want to make sure my kids get to celebrate it to the fullest. Um, I guess my kids are spoiled and I'm fine with that. It's getting harder and harder to do my makeup with these kids. I used to be able to just sit them down and they'd just like play with it, but now it's getting harder and harder. So I need to hurry up and do this and, okay. Happy Halloween, see you in a minute. What? Oh, oh that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's a big one, Flynn. Okay, it says, Happy Halloween. It's time to trick or treat, but you'll need a bag to collect the candy. In order to get the first clue, you'll need a picture in your costume. So should we put on our costumes? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Maisie is Marquette here. I am Gabby. We're about to try to take a picture, see how that goes. Oh, Flynn, the final moment. You're about to put it on. Oh. Just like that. Yeah, we took a picture and so we got a clue. What's the clue say? Look at it. Did you find a clue? Yes. What does it say? My potty. Your potty? <laughs> Show it to Grandma Nita. Okay. My potty. Oh. <laughs> it's your potty. 
Oh, it's your potty. Is that where the next clue is? Ah! What does it say? <laughs> My marshmallows. Your marshmallows? Here, here's your cocoa. Is it a scavenger hat? Yes. <gasps> Cat! The litter box? Yes! Go What'd you find? So many it said, look by the microphone. Where's the microphone? In the podcast. In the podcast. This is a crazy scavenger hunt, Flynn. <laughs> yes! I know! What does it say? Cool. But why is there paw print on it? Because the cat left it, remember? The oh, magical yeah. cat. What does it say? Baby car. <gasps> oh. What does it say? My room. Is that interesting? That's very interesting. Find it? The Miranda wall. Well, did you find it? Yes, it said look by the baby crib. By the baby crib, okay. That's right next to this room. Yes. Hmm, this is a tricky cat. Mm, the milk. The milk? What does it say? What does it say to look by? The toy bin. Okay, the toy bin. Yeah. Oh gosh. Underneath Carlita? Oh, cuddles. Carlita. Snap time. There it is. Oh, what does it say? Mm, I can't figure out this one, but... Hmm. Maybe someone here. The microwave? Yeah, maybe. And so you push this big button right down here. <gasps> you oh. found it! Yay! 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 Oh, exciting, Flynn! Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, it says, you want me to read it to you? Yay. It yeah. says, you found your trick or treat bag. Okay, it's time to go trick or treating around the house. Flynn has decided not to wear his Carlita car because it got in the way of him holding his bag. He wanted to make sure he could have strong muscles to hold all his candy. Let's go. <laughs> trick or treat. Oh, what are you supposed to be? What's your costume? Carlita. Ooh. So you can pick some candy or whatever you want. Chalk? Whoa. Cool. Did you like any candy? Nice. Thank you. Good job, trick or treater. It's All right. Let's go knock on the next door. Yes. Oh my God. How do you do? What are you going to say? Trick or treat. Say it. Trick or treat. Uh, what are you? What are you? A purple gremlin? I'm Carolina. <laughs> wow! Oh, look at that. That's a big patch. Sour patch and... Yeah, but look at this. What the heck's that? Ooh, you gotta get one of those. Thank you! You're welcome. Okay, Flynn. Alright, next house. Ooh, so excited. <gasps> Hello? Oh, what do we got here? A trick-or-treater. What are you supposed to be? Oh, I thought you were one night purple people eater. Thank you. You're welcome, young man. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next house. Wee, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Raped up my arms completely, but this is the big Carlita that I made. That was too heavy for Flynn. Hi, oh, are you Carlita? Yeah. I'm Carlita too. What the heck? What do you say? Uh, trick or treat. The trick or treater took all my candy. Oh, I don't know how many of this. Oh my She's God. been burnt. When we were making the trick or treat bag for the trick or treaters, Flynn saved some of the things that we made in our trick or treater box that we gave up. So we had these big sour punch straws, we had cotton candy, pop rocks, sour skittles, slime, poppets, gold, pez. So I'm gonna go give this to Flynn. I think he forgot that we had all of this. He literally like snuck it out of our big box for our trick or treaters to hide for himself. So he's gonna be very excited when he sees this. Hi. Special one in here for you. Whoa! Oh my! <laughs> Stopping the whole thing. Nice. Good tactic. We did it! Trick or treat! Now let's go look at all the candy you got. You gotta count it all. Let's go count it! Come on! Happy Halloween! Let's see how heavy it is! Whoa! Oh my gosh! I, okay, 
Okay, let's get them right here. Oh, it's too heavy. <laughs> wow, look at all that. And here's another one. See, matching. That's what I would do in those kids. Really? So can you organize it? Yeah. Did you do that too? These are things I didn't know. I, I, I never did this. They like, made it last longer, even though. Like, and you like organize it all? How yeah, cute! Always organize it. Oh my god, the things I missed out on. That's so cute. I love that. Did you guys do that? You organize it all, and then you trade it like your favorites. Oh, my brothers, yeah. <gasps> what you got? <gasps> It's a kitty. Oh, those are some mommy's favorites. Peanut m and Yummy. Yeah. Ooh, that's spider slime. Yeah. The babies were napping during our trick-or-treating, so I'm letting them have a little bucket of candy now. Obviously, they're not going to eat the candy, but they like to play with it. This is slime. Do you want to feel the slime? You don't like the way that feels? <laughs> she wants to hold it so bad, but she doesn't like the way it feels. <gasps> What is that, Maisie? Yeah. Here, let's see. You want to hold this? Hi. Ooh. Is that silly? Look. I was going to try to do some Halloween sensory bin for babies, but I'm like, they would just rather just pull candy out of a bucket and then investigate it all. Yes, you would do. Mm. Yes, you would not you, my sweet. We were gonna do the Princess Bride costumes too, but I think we're not gonna do that tonight. It was a lot to get them in the other costumes for a picture. And it's already close to dinner and bath and bedroom. And Flynn is painting right now. I don't wanna pull him away from that. So we're just gonna look at the candy and shake it up. Happy Halloween. Uh. We are celebrating Halloween today. We gotta cut up a pumpkin. Now, during trick or treating, for the actual trick or treating on actual Halloween, a mom was like, I love your pumpkins. We had a bunch of pumpkins out. And I was like, You can have them. I didn't realize she'd take all of them. Because <laughs> she said, I like this one big pumpkin. I was like, You can take it. And then I guess she came back in the night and took them, all of them. But I did have this one. So I'm gonna cut this open and let the babies play with the seeds. She's just about to open a pumpkin. Okay, you wanna show me what face to make? Uh, a face. With a wobbly mouth? Like that? I like so many wobbles. Like a wobbly mouth face? <gasps> oh, yuck. Goopy, I want goopies. to see what he does. I want to see what Wesley does. Let's see what he does. Ah! Is that goopy? He wants to touch it so bad, but he doesn't like the way it feels. Wesley wants to eat it. No, don't eat it, Wesley. <laughs> Getting out those seeds? Yes. Nice. Okay, Flynn said he wanted a very squiggly mouth pumpkin. So that's what we did, a very squiggly mouth pumpkin. Okay, you wanna put the light in? You wanna put it in the dark? We're gonna put it in the dark. Smart choice, under there. It looks pretty cool under there, Flynn. You like it? Okay, so the baby's birthday is Sunday, so I got them some presents because we're doing a little ladybug worm themed birthday party on their actual birthday with just family. And then like a week later, we're doing their big birthday bash. But I don't even know if anyone's gonna show up, so we'll see. But um, I'm wrapping their presents right now. And I got Flynn a present too, so that he, you know, it's gonna be hard for him to see them open up a million presents. Judge me, I don't care. I got him a Gabby's Dollhouse board game. So I'm gonna wrap that for him. And then for the babies, I'll show you a couple things. I want you all, because it's boring. Daisy's really obsessed with kitties right now, so I got her this little kitty condo with little kitties in it, and they meow when you squeeze them. I got her, slash him, a feed the fish little game where you put the balls inside the fish mounts, and it lights up and like music, and the balls go down the track. I got Wesley this caterpillar ball set because it's like worm slash caterpillar theme for him, and he loves any kind of ball that has like a rattle or shaky, so it's like, Perfect. I got Maisie a little activity book. Now when I say I got these for Maisie or for Wesley, like they can both play with them, it's for everyone, but like the stuff I got for Maisie, I thought Maisie would like more. The stuff I got for Wesley, I thought Wes would like more, obviously. Um, but Maisie's really into books and like analyzing toys. So I thought like these activity books usually have like strings and mirrors and Velcro things and that seemed very up Maisie's alley. Wesley really likes cars, so I got him this. Flynn had this when he was a baby. I thought I'd get for Wes too. Maisie loves books, so I got her a bunch of books. These are like the indestructible books. A book about a rubber ducky. 
And then I got this for Wesley because I think Maisie would hate this, but I think it might be really good for Wes because Wes is on the freaking move. This is kind of in between walking and scooting on a bicycle type thing, so I thought this would be good for him. And maybe when Maisie's a little bit older, she might be interested in it. I honestly don't even think Wes will be able to figure it out at this point, but I think he might be interested in it, so I have to build it. So I'm gonna build that. I'm gonna wrap all this stuff. Okay, so I've wrapped everything that I have so far. Maisie's presents are red with ladybugs. Wesley's presents are yellow with little caterpillar stickers. And Flynn's is blue, so I'm gonna write his name on it. Flynn. I've gotta hide these somewhere. Then I'm gonna do a couple of other cute little birthday things to prep so I'm not rushing tomorrow night to do everything. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and go to bed. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anymore tonight. I'm gonna make cookies. You see that every single day. So yeah, I might call it a night here. I hope you enjoyed our little Halloween day. It was so cute to see Flynn so excited. Uh, we didn't end up putting on our princess bride costumes. It seems as though everyone was too tired. We're still getting over our little cold. It didn't seem like they could handle a whole other costume change. So we'll do that another day. All right, I've gotta go hide these. <laughs> Bye.